probably not going to work, but maybe it will. Hello, my name is Beck, and welcome back to Glitch in the System. Um, oh, I didn't realize when I was looking at this title screen. So we're at the title screen for Turmoil, because that's the part in the game that I'm at. But I didn't realize Cliff was up there, so he must definitely be in this game. I was kind of thinking it would just be a transitional game. Alright, oh, the one thing I did forget to say in the introduction of the last video was that uh, the lead developer of this game, her name is Katie, I believe, and she is the absolute sweetest, and I've talked to her on a couple occasions before, and I just wanted to say that she's really great, and she's, like I said, one of the lead developers of this game, so. What is that dripping off of there? Okay, whatever. Continue the game. Let's go. Turmoil in my slime rancher? Yeah, that's the screen it left off on, so we must be doing good. It was more likely than we thought. Yeah, that's been a bit of an issue lately, too. You mean that's not normal? It never was normal. Wait, seriously? I mean, it should have been apparent, but I guess some people open their eyes one lash at a time. Never heard that before. Imagine if you were playing uh, Minecraft and suddenly a ninja ran in and started slaughtering villagers. Are you kidding? That would be... I agree, that would actually be kind of awesome. Uh... Oh, what's it... I don't remember what they're called. Not Mojang, it's... I don't know. The person that made Minecraft do that. The exact opposite of what's supposed to happen in my heckin' good Minecraft server. Anyway, my point is, games mixed together, not good. Games on their own, good. And playable, so games mixed together are not playable at all. Okay then, time to keep going and keep these games from sticking together. With our own brand of digital cooking spray. Determination. Great, now that's how I, every time I rewatch the Undertale series, I'll just think of did, um, Determination as a cooking spray. Wow, what can't Determination do? I can think of a few things. Alright. I may, yeah, I need to move my mic just a little bit. Because it's currently in my way and not letting me push keys. Alright, oh! Oh, I wasn't thinking that it was like a 3D thing. I just realized my face might go down a bit, so I'm sorry if that happens. Man, this place looks really unstable. I wonder how it got this way. Who knows? Could have been age, freak storms, or maybe the least likely culprit, glitching. Wait, this place looks like I went through a hurricane. Is that what glitching looks like here, or are they little glitchy termites? You wouldn't understand. It's all too technical. You can try to explain it. <sighs> what? I'm just disappointed this fine building is broken. Didn't you hear me sigh? Well... <laughs> <laughs> You're forcibly reminding me of why it's been so long since you were last here. Don't be in a bad mood. That's the best jokes. Is that this whole building or was it just the bit over there? Uh, yep. Yeah. It's the whole thing. Cool. Alright. Uh, that's a shiny bit, which makes me think I shouldn't go there, but also there's people, so. This is where the mayor may be? He's, I think I can see the mayor right, right over there. Maybe, maybe. Then again, may or not. I'm getting a stereo headache. Thanks, guys. Always happy to help, Billy. Uh, uh, do I go to the mayor or do I go here? I don't know. I'm half expecting to see Niles around here. Who? Never mind. I don't know who it is either. Well, whatever the case, seems like Daphne really has everything this time. It's understandable. They're trying to make do in a bad situation. Thankfully, you never get to see the interior, so sure, everything fits fine. Fits inside on that technicality. Bigger on the inside? You know it. Always. You talked to Hoop fans. Yes! That's what I meant when I said that last time about the house. Actually, the first reference wasn't... Uh, never mind. We should be doing things right now. So, shiny. Green thing. Someone stuck fan art here. Oh, fan art! Oh my gosh, that's beautiful! That's beautiful. What's that say? Blog rainy oak? I love that. I love your style. Okay, so that green shiny stuff is fan art. That's very good to know. Oh my goodness, I just realized you can see their little sprites walking with pink on them. That's a good detail. I like that. Alright, at the risk of missing something, I'm going for the shiny. <coughs> oh, nice, a shop. Aw, oh, but I don't think I have any money. Sure about that? You should go to the bank. Okay, so I wasn't going to miss anything. The monies? Is that supposed to have another letter in it? Jack, welcome back. Is this the mayor, I assume? <coughs> your account is all in order. Here's your money. Do you 
imagine if that was how you went to a bank. You just went and then they recognized you and said, here's your money. Hmm, let me see. $117,627? You are rich. How do I have this much money? Well, you never spent it after drilling. I've kept it nice and safe for you. Ah, thanks. You got 117,627 117, bytes. I wonder if there's like a, a reason you came up with that specific of a number. Can I go in the bank? Well, that's a bank just asking for someone to break into it. Billy, you're not thinking of staging a bank robbery, are you? In broad daylight, right in front of the banker himself? Oh, so that's not the mayor, it's just the banker. What? No, of course not. You're right, you're right, I'm so thoughtless. You need your tools first. If I end up in jail, I'm throwing you under the bus at my court hearing. Nice try, but I've still never played Ace Attorney. For my sake, you probably should. No promises. At least you're only in danger of getting thrown in prison. Imagine if he played uh, Danganronpa. Yeah, no, this was better. Uh, wait, you still could go in prison. You were in the escapist in the last game, so not impossible. All right, we have money now. Look, Daphne's in here. I didn't watch him play Turmoil either, so I don't know who Daphne is or anything else. Sorry, I'm grabbing my water that I always have to have. Because I don't talk unless I'm recording videos. If there's one thing I learned from playing Tur Turmoil, it's to always go to Daphne's. Oh, so it, the building isn't called Daphne, it's, ca it's supposed to say Daphne's. So, do we need anything? Uh, no, but it's nice to know it's here anyway. Well, then why did I grab money if I'm not gonna go shopping? That's not what the whole point of this was? Goodness gracious, so where am I supposed to go? I have money now, but you wouldn't let me go to the shop. Oh, this is a big place. What is that? Right there. Can I not interact with that? Apparently not. The heck is all this? Help? Who's asking for help? What the... Is this gonna be the Daphne person that I don't- Oh no, it's Cliff! Yes! Uh, I think Cliff is probably my second favorite. Like I said, I still feel bad about Jack not being my favorite at all, but I love Cliff and Billy so much. Jack, is that you? Please help me. Whoa, Cliff, uh, hey, hold on. <laughs> I am holding on. Okay, uh, I'm coming to get you. Just hang tight and don't look down. Too late, I've already looked. It's a long way down, and even farther if I fall into that conveniently placed massive hole. Shrek, I'm looking down! <laughs> Not to mention tars everywhere. I thought that said tarbs for a second. This could really get messy. Do we have something we could spray them with? No, but there was a whole town back there. Okay, so we get rid of all the tars. Then what? I mean, he'll still be stuck up there. Good point. You can buy a ladder or something? I have an idea. You remember your biggest problem in turmoil back when you play it? Uh, spillage? Exactly. What if we got a good spillage going on here? It'd probably fill the hole, the hole with oil so Cliff can jump down. So you guys are covered in slime guts, so you're voluntarily choosing to get Cliff covered in oil. Logic. Oh, intentional spillage. That I can do. Hang on, Cliff. I'm coming and after I get a water gun in the shop. You're gonna fill up a giant hole with oil using a water gun? Okay, please hurry. For the sake of simplicity, party members will not be shown for this section. Aw. Oh well. That's fine. I don't mind. At least you gave me a warning and I don't have to assume the game's glitching out real bad. It's kind of... It's not laggy in that section, but it is a bit... off. Okay, I'm at the shop. I got my money. Let's see what I got. Looks like there's a backpack, some duct tape, and some rope. All of that could be useful. I think it's better to get everything you need now rather than to keep coming back. Definitely. You spent 500 bytes. Let me go ahead and equip this now. Press enter to shoot water. Oh, jeez. Can I get any more stuff? I don't think there's any more we need. Okay, well... Is that my... Is that a health thing? Oh, gosh. I hope I don't die. See what I mean? It's just, like, a little bit less smooth. But I think that's just because this is actual gameplay and not me interacting with stuff. Are you the thing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi. Why... Why the frick are you... I don't like you! Stop! Go away. I forgot that Tars are from Slime Rancher. That makes sense. Uh, I was trying to do a thing. Oh my god, you teleport so fast. I do not like you. What if I die in this section? What is it gonna do to me? Where's the other Tars? Is that all? Is there only two of them? <clears throat> Maybe. Okay, Cliff, just hang on one minute. Okay. Do I need to do something else? 
So I hate to burst your bubble, but um, nothing happened. I think we noticed. Thank you for pointing that out. Why is it that when I actually want to spill some oil, it doesn't work? Do you think the tars may have sabotaged the pipe system? Yeah, they're clogging up the pipes. One way to find out. Don't clog in the pipes. We could try lowering ourselves in, the, in those holes. I mean, you could. I can use the rope I got at the store. We'll figure it out, Cliff. Don't worry. Please hurry. I don't know how much longer I can last. Alright, so I assume these are the holes and not the enemies I was presuming they were. <sighs> this is where the other tars are. This is nice. I'm so gonna die. I'm so dead. What the heck? I'm so dead. Oh, I don't even have that long of range. Are you kidding me? I'm so dead. I only have five chances left to not get hit. Oh, is this not where I go? Oh, that's what that is. So I did shoot water into that? Ah, here's where we have to fix it. You're, oh, you're using duct tape. I thought I had to... I thought I was having to spray it with water. Now can I go that way? No? Do I just go back up then? Oh, I just have to go down all the different holes. That's where it is. I'm so gonna die. Get shoo. Alright, tape that thing up and try not to die on the way to getting this stupid... How are you supposed to fight these things when they just teleport straight at you? I'm so dead. Oh no, the little Sam in the corner. He's just gonna cry. I'm sorry, Sam. I promise I'll try to do better next time now that I actually remember what TARS look like. No, I'm not. Gosh dang it. Oh my gosh, there are s more holes to go and I'm so dead. I'm so dead. No, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I hit space and kill both of them, apparently. Can you... Can you use space to shoot water? You can, apparently. I've been using enter, because that's what you told me to do, but apparently you can also use space. That- I keep going back in the hole. Why did I go back in the hole? I don't understand. Is this is the la I hope this is the last one, because I cannot afford to lose here, all places, leave me alone. Okay, I can't teleport through walls, I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, I had like one left. I had one health thing. Oh, that wasn't- What? That wasn't health? Wait, so my health up in the corner? Oh, my health is fine. So what was that doing? I thought that thing up in the corner was how many- I was like ten times I could get hit and then I'd die. I mean, clearly that was how many I had left to fill in, but still. You're shiny again. Okay, Cliff, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you look so scared. I'm so sorry, buddy. You can jump now into the oil. Uh. <laughs> Did you really use the Wilhelm scream there? I love it. <laughs> oh, great. Now you have oil all over you as well. well that could have gone better. Jack, thank you so much for saving me. Hey, Cliff. Nice to see you again. Sorry I freaked out. Not big on heights. Yeah, we know. I feel that. Well, welcome back to Ireland. Not that I'm to not that I'm not totally excited to see you, but why am I here now? Good question. Billy, buddy, why don't you explain it? Listen, I was trying to save my home and coding is really hard. That's a mood, because I've been trying to learn to code and it's a pain. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean here now? Were you somewhere else? Billy, you wouldn't believe the day I've had. This is almost back to normal in comparison. Oh, I wanna know what kind of day you had. Besides, it's fine. I don't mind being here. You took me away from a mountain of homework. Okay. Even more of a mood. Plus, being unconscious means my parents won't get at me for procrastinating. Oh my god. Cliff, I love you. The ultimate excuse. Wait, hold on. Are the other subscribers back? Are we gonna have to save them again? Just you and Jenny. Jenny, hey, I dug you, but uh... Wow, we're both really gross. Exactly! So if you're both really gross, it doesn't matter. You can just hug each other anyway. You're not gonna get the other person messed up. Hey Cliff, and it's fine, this really isn't the best time as it is. So what do we do now? Right now we need showers. Okay, I know where we can get them, but then we really have to get back to saving Wireland. You are the one who screwed up and made us do this in the first place, Billy. Saving Wireland? Oh no, what's wrong? Long story short, there are loads of glitches and people are disappearing and no one knows what's going on exactly. Uh, that sounds like a lot like Auntie's work. You keep bringing him up. You kept bringing him up in the last game, too. You made everybody think that it was Antia, and it, it couldn't, and it wasn't. 
Auntie was just in the end credits, but you know, you never know. Maybe, maybe this one is Auntie. But he can't be here, right? I mean, he's not from a game, right? Well, not a game Jax played on the channel, anyway. No, but he's been a lot of Jax videos. The egos are here. The community is why. Now, can we get a move on? Oh yeah, sure. Lead the way, Jack. <gasps> Do we get all four of you back? Yes. I'm not going back down there. Oh, whatever, dude. I was gonna say, you didn't go down there, but you did. It was just a little thing. Uh, the crew is back together, and I love all your little adorable sprites. Whoa, Cliff, that is quite the story of how you got there. What? I, you didn't tell us the story? I know, first I was there, then I was on the rig. Pretty sure I got kicked out literally by a giant shoe. I wanna... What? And here I was thinking you were wearing that shirt for fun? I mean, I do have this shirt at home, but I was actually wearing my- I don't want to know what you were wearing. What? You didn't tell us the story! My septic eye hoodie. Jeez, Billy, what kind of crazy part, crazy party animal do you take me for? Party animal? You? More like Garfield. Oh. These two polar opposites that don't get along are my favorite characters. Because they're both me. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. I like comic strips. I'm just- oh my good golly gravy. Bench? Ooh, you can sit on the bench now. Everybody join on the bench. Everybody sit on the bench together. Lamp, more bench. Hospital. Uh, okay, what's the sign say? Lighten this way. As soon, we, soon as we get cleaned up, we can get going. Alright. Are you gonna take a shower in the hospital? I mean, I guess it's not the worst. Is that burger pants? Smells like a hospital in here. I don't like it. Why is burger pants at a hospital? Oh, no. No, we are not doing Surgeon Simulator. Last time I was here, I almost died because the doctor tried to remove my... Yeah, Zooks. Oh, is, this, is it Schneep? I can't do the accent for Schneep, so I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> yes! Ah, you have arrived! I can't do the voice for Schneep, though. I think I'm just going to have to talk to you, but oh my gosh, I... Ah, yes, 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 yes. I love him. Are we going to have all the egos here? Oh! <gasps> I'm just gonna explode if we have to see all the egos here. What? You sound like you were expecting us. Ah, but who here hasn't heard that you're back in Ireland? Absolutely everyone is trembling with the excitement and... and dokies and everything in between. Dokies? I, rem I remember this motherfucker here. <laughs> Billy, uh... Duh. Man, I- oh, Fuddrucker. Well, I just- I interpreted that wrong. Man, I haven't been to Fuddruckers in a long time. Have I- <laughs> No, no, he- he said it. I- I read it right. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. What important- what is important is that you are here. And we're in desperate need of showers, unfortunately. Uh, those are not in short supply here. We have many showers, all with their private cubicles. Thank goodness. Yeah, let me just be very, very weird. It's a good thing that they do. Anyway, please be following me and I shall show you to them. You shall be clean as the... As he split that is lickety. <laughs> oh, well in that case, lead the way, my good man. Doctor, the tighter is good doctor. Good doctor. Ring in my bell. <laughs> Ring my bell. <laughs> I appreciate the use of, of Jack's voice in so much of this. Dot dot dot. Press enter or Z to skip this nonsense. I don't want to skip this nonsense, though. Man, I don't know where they get their soap, but that was a wash and a half. Any cleaner, and I don't think my clothes would stay on. After the shower. From lack of friction. Sure. Mind out of the gutter, you. I I knew what you meant. It's fine. Anyway, it feels like some kind of British sci-fi technology in here. Looks smaller from the outside, but this is actually really roomy. Doctor Who? Dr. Schneeplestein, of course. I'm assuming this is the stuff that they asked if you wanted to skip, but still. This is good quality content. Why would I skip your- <laughs> I can see that's Jenny's hair, but what happened? <laughs> what the- Whoa. Jenny? Whoa, okay. Claire? Hang on, guys, I'm coming. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. <laughs> you okay, Jenny? I'm sorry, I was just surprised to see my insulin pump is missing. Oh my god, that's not a good thing. Missing? Guess it didn't translate over to wireless, but oddly enough, I feel fine without it. So yeah, I hope you're fine. Oh, thank god, I thought you were being abducted or murdered or something. Inside the shower? I mean, they're psycho. Yeah, if you're gonna get murdered anywhere, it'd be in the shower. 
That's not a comforting thought, Jack. I, we're not comforting people, apparently. But on another note, did Cliff scream too? I'm about to go check on him. You all right in there, Cliff? Uh, yeah, just kind of slipped a bit. But there's this computer gadget thing in here that came out of the wall, and it kind of cushioned my fall, so I'm not as bruised as I could have been. A computer cushioned your fall. Wait, computer gadget? I feel so betrayed, but my cholesterol's good, so I guess I can only complain a little. I don't know, man, I thought it was kind of cool, <laughs> like having a Baymax. Oh, that kind of makes more sense, for it to be like a Baymax thing. But like, stuck in the wall, and minus the cute face, and a voice, but still the same thing. There's a lot that isn't the same, though. That was a very Billy thing to say, Jack. Guess I need to fill in for him when he's not around. Speaking of, he's taking a while. Let a kid have his privacy, Jack. He's at that age. <laughs> what age? He's nine, permanently. Billy, you okay in there? Oh gosh, did he fall? Wouldn't you have heard him scream if he fell? But the not Baymax would have caught him like it did with me, right? I don't know, we're human, Cliff. He's not. Would it react to him the same way it reacted to us? Well, you'd think it would react to computer programs more because it's used to seeing them. <laughs> Billy? Did you just burst down the door? He's not in there. What? Where would he have gone? Without us? Doesn't make sense. Well, we're all just in ready. Let's go find this pain in the ass. I'm worried about him. I mean, that lovable pain in the patookie. No, I mean pain in the ass. <laughs> Either or. I... I just... Oh, you can actually go inside the stalls. Wow, this is like a little prison cell. Yeah, definitely doesn't look comfortable. Did he fall through the floor? Ouch, that had to hurt. Eh, he sustained worse injuries. I'm sure he'll be fine. But he's not in his game. Wow, what a hole. Yeah, that is a big hole in the floor. I'll say, I wonder how long it'd take to hear something if you dropped it down there. You sure that's something you want to try? I doubt you'd get it back. Let's try this bar of soap. Okay. Drop it. Wow, that really is. Hello. That's not the sound of something hitting the ground. Poor Billy, we hardly knew you. Let's go check somewhere else for him. Agreed. Well, I gotta check the rest of the room first, at least. Small as it is, still a nice shower. Creepy, it's pitch black in there. I think that's supposed to be a changing room, but I'm not sure how you're supposed to move around or see what you're doing. Can you not go in there? Oh, I want to go in. Can you go into any of the other showers? Or are they all going to say the same thing? Oh, okay. They're all different. Ooh, beach? Man, I wish I'd gotten this one. It was really nice, and that's not salt water either, so it was very relaxing. Man, I almost wish there was a boardwalk. Knowing Schneep, I bet we could find salt water taffy around here, but I doubt it'd be edible. It might be. Yeah, let's not eat anything he gives us. <laughs> That is really pretty, though. I didn't realize all the showers were different, so I'm gonna have to go back in the first two now. <coughs> Sorry. A bucket. It's fresh water rather than salt water. Perfect for rinsing things off. Glad they give you the option with all the sand in here. I mean, walking out of here with sand in your toes would be pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, but so are wet socks. Wouldn't you take the socks off, though? Ah, did you not take your socks off when you showered, you dum-dum? Huh, you don't even need lights on the mirror. The room's so well lit, I can see all the teeny tiny details on my face. Wow, this is probably why we don't have magnifying mirrors at home. I wouldn't want to see my face in ultra high detail like this every morning. I don't think anybody would. I mean, I did stand about five feet back from this while I was getting ready. Yep, there's definitely such a thing as too much of yourself, and this mirror doesn't really help. Can you even get five feet back from that? Huh, it's like a dress-up minigame in here. I'm thankful for the options. Some of the outfits in there were a little... Oh, they showed a little more skin than I'd be comfortable showing. I'm sure you'd look great in a lot of things, but I'm glad you found something you were happy with. You know, I have a lot of questions for Sneep about that outfit, that outfit. How about that one? I, you're not showing in this. Holy crap, that one's like my nightmare from two weeks ago, but warmed up in a microwave and thrown down the stairs? That's some pretty vivid imagery. You should have seen the dream. Did they both say the same thing? Yep. Doo -doo. I gotta check everything, just in case. I'm assuming- oh, these side things. What's behind the curtain? Looks like a wall. Well, that was anticlimactic. What a letdown. Jack, if there was anything else in here, I think I'd be worse off. Good point, sorry. What are you- Man, this takes me back to my LA visit. So many palm trees all over the place. Coastal areas and palm trees go together like crabs in water. <laughs> or crabs in raves. For some reason, I feel like that's a reference to the Brian Deckard thing, but it might not be. 
Are all the beach similes because of the theming in here? Can't help it, I've got beach on the brain. At least it's not sand in our shorts. Okay. Aren't you worried about sand getting into your toiletries over here? Oh, those were here when I came in. I haven't touched them at all. The things I used were on the wall over there. I don't blame you. I hate sand in my hair as much as the next person. I have a lot of experience with that. Well, there was this one girl in kindergarten who dumped sand in my hair. I think she liked me, and this was the only way she knew how to say it. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, I get it. I accidentally broke <laughs> I'm so glad you put that in there. I'm so glad you put that in there. I beg Jack to play this now because I just want him to read that sentence. I accidentally broke my crush's ankle back in school. Kids are weird, man. I'm sorry, you did what now? I can explain. Or at least, I did. It's on my channel. Haven't you seen it? At least in passing? Oh, okay, I should check it out when we get out of here. Assuming I don't have any assignments to take care of first. YouTube over school. No, school does not come first. YouTube first. Always. Trees. Oh, same thing. I guess those other ones were just like smaller palm trees. Can you go in the water? Oh, we can't go in the water. Not only was this water clean, it was scented. Kind of like the bath beads were put at the bottom. It smells like lilac. No wonder he gave you the shower. That's sexist. What if I wanted to smell like lilac? You should issue a formal complaint in writing. Oh, I love this game. <clears throat> okay, well now I have to check the other two, knowing that they're all different. Ooh. Whoa, it's a jungle in here. I'd say there's disorder and confusion everywhere, but it's actually pretty clean. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, who's in charge here? In charge? Of cleaning. I want to thank them. This can't be easy to clean. Well, it's definitely not Schneep. He wouldn't waste his time with trivial things like cleaning. Isn't that true? Hey, we don't know. Maybe that's his secret passion. I could be wrong now, but I don't think so. I mean, it is, it's Sean's ego, so maybe. The fire never goes out. So cozy. It's a rock. <laughs> Did you know that pioneers used to ride these babies for miles? <laughs> and for delivering pizza, too. Though if my next pizza driver comes over on a rock, I'm going to be highly confused and thoroughly impressed. Don't be confused, because you know the truth. Time to lock out. Actually, you probably don't want to do that seeing as we're still here and not done with finding Billy or saving Wyland. I'm just kidding. I could log us all out remotely if I wanted to, but the pun was too good to resist. You know how to well, you know how to log yourself out of here? I wonder if these vines could hold someone's weight, but Vine is dead. Actually, these look pretty healthy to me, so they probably could support someone. Why do you ask, Jack? You know, I was just thinking if they can support someone's weight, I mean someone could have peeked in at me while I was showering. They also could have climbed up the ladder. Couldn't they have just used the ladder over there? That's what I said. May not have thought the shower through all the way. It says this is a map of Middle Uranus. I make a joke, but I think it's been made for me. <laughs> Looking good. Who is? All of you. Aw, that's so wholesome. There's a nice assortment of socks in here. I wouldn't wear the ones with little fish on them, though. Eh, traumatizing Billy is pretty much my calling at this point. I forgot he's totally terrified of fish. Oh my gosh. I wish he had gotten this shower. That would have been freaking hilarious. I feel bad for Billy getting the bad one, though, now. Water's nice and warm. And was the water warm when you got in it? Oops. Yes. Come on, I had to swim in that. Oh, goodness gracious. What does my computer keep doing? I mean, sure, if it were an actual shower. Please don't finish that sentence. You're the one who brought it up. I mean, you did. Okay, now the last one is Cliff Shower, and then I can actually progress the story. Ooh, wow, this place is really cozy. The water was kind of cold, but I've never washed my hair under a waterfall before. That was cool. Oh, this floor is slippery. No wonder you fell. Eh, the Baymax thing made sure I didn't break my cockix, I think it said. Uh, your what? Cockix. You know, tailbone, that's what it's called. <laughs> okay, I'll take your word for it. So you got that hoodie out of here? It's a pretty badass design. Yep, there were a couple of other cool ones, but this one spoke to me the most. It's a plagiarism if the design technically came from my computer. You want to sell these? <laughs> Actually, I kind of want one myself, but I don't know where the royalties would go. And I don't even know if my lawyers could figure out this one because, well, Wireland's a bit outside their jurisdiction. Exactly. Just bring the lawyers to Wireland, and then they'll probably do whatever you say because they'll be terrified. Man, you could feel like a star with a mirror this big. I know I did. Strike a pose. <laughs> I love the deal with him having all those little stars in that particular uh, face. It's the most adorable one. You, I don't know this song, but it's You Light Up My Life. I don't know it. And the bathroom. <laughs> You've got a lot of products here. There's a lot they had to choose from. Check out the smells for them. Is one of them lilac? 
apple, grape, strawberry, and orange. Don't forget green tea. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty healthy snack if you ask me. For your hair? Yes. So you got to eat it. I think these candles are kind of close to the water. Aren't they going to go out if they get splashed? I was careful, don't worry. Didn't you just slip in here earlier? Well, I'm very careful with the stuff in my control, at least. I mean, or maybe the water will catch on fire. You never know. You never know. I can't interact with that. Can I interact the actual waterfall? Nope. Alright, so I guess I'm just out. <clears throat> so left's the way we came from, so I'm gonna go ahead and go right and see if I can get out through there. Sorry, Billy, I had to stop and look at every single shower that the characters already saw. Oh, good golly gravy, what is this place? Alright. This is gonna take forever to go through. This may end up being an extra hour, longer than an hour this time, because I just want to read everything. A locked cabinet. I have some concerns. We all do, Jenny. And maybe not if they're short, but if they're all long ones. <coughs> oh, can't interact with that. Okay. Or that. Okay, maybe there, a lot of this stuff you can't interact with anyway. Who sits in this chair? There's no desk or anything in front of it, and it's not an exam room. <coughs> Actually, it looks brand new. Maybe he just moved it in here to get it out of the way. Oh, okay, it actually makes sense. Why? What did you think it was for? I don't know, but it's Schneep we're talking about, so... Well, given the setting, I'd say it's a lab chair for patients getting blood drawn, but... Yeah, your point of Schneep is an excellent one. So if it's brand new, why would he put it out of the way? Why didn't he just replace it with an old chair and put the old one out of the way? Feel service animals are always welcome. Please remember that the following... That's a very- that's a lot of things for you to include guinea pigs with. <laughs> oh my goodness, this place is so- oh, we're back to the front! Okay. Well, obviously, I have to see this beautiful piece of art that I recognize. <laughs> it's the same one as before, but with Schneep's hat and mask drawn over. Did he try to erase the table? Thank god that's not how paintings work. Wait, are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> Burger Pants, how you doing, dude? Burger Pants? You work at a hospital? Hey, kid, you know- Oh, you just have the exact same sprite that they have in the game. I love that. Hey, kid, you know me, but I don't think I know you. Unless you're a patient. I've seen about a million of those. That's okay. It's boring enough here without visitors. Come, sit, stay a while. Want in on a secret, little buddy? Secret? Stop uh -oh. Patients are asked not to glitch on the furniture. Don't glitch on the furniture. Good to know. My boss? Yeah, total weirdo. Totally out of it. But seriously, he's an awful doctor, just the worst. Well, that's to be expected. But he probably shouldn't be put in charge of treating all these people. I guess I pl I thought I played more hospital-themed games. Burger Pants, you sound tired. Shouldn't you take a break? Burger Pants, take a break. Never. Wish I could, little buddy. Wish I could. I can't go to hell. I'm all out of vacation days. He won't stop yelling. The patients can't sleep because of him. I tell him to be quiet, but I can't leave my desk. He's cornered me here. Oh, I guess you can. I'm so sorry. Can you climb over the desk? The only thing protecting me from him is an apple. <laughs> Please just let me have a normal job. That's all I want. Please. Oh, you poor thing. First Metaton and now Schneep. Oh, I love palm trees. Me too. It makes me wish I could go to the beach. I wonder what beach games Jack has played and if we'd have time to stop there. One of the douchebag workout games keeps to mind. Probably not if time is really of the essence. Eh, maybe. Do it after you fix Wireland. <gasps> There's more fan art over there. This painting looks familiar somehow. I like it though. It's nice and sunny. I know I've seen this somewhere and it's making me really anxious for some reason. Jack, for the love of all that's guacamole, don't. That's- I sw I know what photo that is! You piece of garbage, I know what freaking photo that is! That's the photo you posted when Schneep was coming back from vacation after- Oh my god, when Auntie took over Schneep, that's the next thing you posted about them when he was coming back from vacation. You piece of garbage. You piece of garbage. Oh my god. Might not want to touch that. It'll probably start threatening us. I'm not. I'm not over this, and I'm never going to freaking get over it. Oh my god. Okay, fan art. Distract. Ooh, fan art. Oh, that's adorable. Just a reminder that after failed procedures, please do not dispose of any possible cadavers, as they can be further utilized in study for cures for insomnia, hypochondria, and McLaughlin syndrome. McLaughlin syndrome. What is that? That was a very adorable Marvin, though. Is this trash? 
think this is unnecessary, but knowing Schneep, let's focus on the positives. He hasn't killed anyone yet. In which universe? Mm. When I'm researching which doctor to go to, the phrase hasn't killed anyone yet is kind of a red flag for me. Me too. My parents generally keep that detail off their resumes. I'd be more concerned to go to a doctor that can't honestly say that. Well, true. Yes, but it's still not something you want to draw attention to. Oh, goodness. You ever wonder why they say it's curtains for you when things are about to go really, really bad? Uh, it's because in stages, like when you have a play or a musical, the at the end of the show, the curtains go down, and it just means it's the end. I think it's referring to the end of a play or something, like the curtains closing. That's a lot easier way to say it than I did. Yeah, that's probably what it means, but it kind of has a double meaning, too, when you consider that hospitals have curtains. But yeah, it's kind of an odd thing to point out. Yeah, I know. Just a thought. I, you're not wrong, actually. Is that Minesweeper? <laughs> kind of operating system. Our department will now be accepting multiple payment methods, such as Vista, Monster Card, Bites, Post-dated checks with forged signatures, and green m &Ms. You can pay with post-dated checks with forged signatures, and you can pay with green m &Ms. Okay. What kind of hospital is he running, aside from the lethal and most likely non-anesthesia kind, I mean? There has to be some kind of law that requires you to keep up with the technology in the same millennium. Ah, uh, not in Ireland. I mean, Windows 95 was pretty revolutionary when it came out. It's the first computer I ever used. Yeah, but you didn't use it to diagnose patients in a medical institution. I really should have applied myself more. Oh, come on, Jenny, you're doing just fine. Oh, I can walk on the beds, apparently. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Never mind. I like the color of the sheets. Makes me think mint. I bet they smell good, too. I don't recommend smelling the sheets. I'm actually detecting an odor, but I have bad news for you. Nope, I smell it now. Let's step away. I wonder how long this has been out. Knowing Schneep, far too long. Alright. Yeah, sorry for just completely, like, forgetting about you, Billy, but I have to see all the amazing dialogue. Can't say I'm tired enough to sit down right now. I knew you had to be able to click on that because you could walk on the benches outside. You'd think there'd be something on this table, like a bright pink stethoscope. That's specific. Maybe it's being used. That's definitely possible, though I read somewhere that t stethoscopes tend to disappear in hospitals. It's true, they practically walk off. My parents complain about that all the time. Your parents doctors? I don't remember that. That Game of Thrones? You usually don't see that in a hospital waiting room. Yeah, isn't that show, like, really inappropriate for kids? Why is Schneep playing it? Oh, that's TV. I thought it was a poster. Oh, it's back to service animals. Okay, so this is just the thing that loops every once in a while. Uh, well, there are no kids around, are there? I guess not, but maybe we shouldn't stand around watching TV. I mean, we have to find Billy. Yeah, I know. I can't get this open. Fitting, since they are lockers. Do you hear something in there? Why'd you have to bring that up, Cliff? Why? Now I can't unhear it. Figures it would be Rick Astley. Did you just rickroll the characters without being able to rickroll us? I love this game. Uh, that... No, I think the thing at the top is progression. I wouldn't want to sit on this thing. Looks kind of flimsy. There aren't any wheel locks. What if it starts rolling? I guess safety's not a high priority here. It's Schneep. I think that's pretty well established. Poor Peter. He didn't deserve such a horrible fate. Mmm, Peter. I remember that video. Well, hopefully Schneep's not behind on his taxes. You ever want, uh, same curtain thing. So is this uh, an elevator that will cause progression, or what is this? This uh, it says it's the door to the operating room. Thank God I don't have to go in there. Oh, it's stuck. We can't even go in from here. Guess if we want to go in, we'll have to find another entrance. So we're, we're going to the operating room. Oh, that was new. So it must be randomized. Complaining about your pixel count will not result in any height during surgery. Is this where the staff announcements come from? Probably, yeah. I suddenly really want to announce something to the entire hospital. Please do. Please. Is it something people are going to want to know? Hmm. Why fear death? Just because you know the song will end, is that any reason not to listen? <laughs> you know what? That's a good quote. I appreciate you saying that. I, like I said, I love being able to hear his voice. Oh, okay. That was nice. Alright, I guess I will go to the main room now. Although, that could all just say the same thing. Yeah, maybe not, because the sheets are... This is the flimsy thing, right? Okay. I can't interact with that anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and move on. 
and try to actually progress the game after 15 minutes of reading everything. I just love this whole thing. Wait, can you actually interact with the patterns on the wall? Staff announcement. We are currently experiencing a shortage of blood in types A, B, O, A, B, and J. Doctors J. will receive a 100 byte gift card upon completion of donation, whether voluntary or coerced. Whether voluntary or coerced. Um, I don't think that's a very good thing. Oh my goodness gracious. This is interesting. Alright, so this is definitely progression. That's what I figured. Well, the announcement for the first time happened when I got right in this exact spot, so I thought that was the announcement triggering was me going up here. Alright, so what are you? There's a tiny label on this that says stool sample. Moving on. <laughs> Oh, come on, it's a good pun. Oh, can't walk on the letters that are on the floor. Diagram, Anatomy of the Human Body by Dr. Schneepelstein. Tiny feet. Not allowed to show, not a, not allowed to show according as stupid laws, but this is Wireland and a medical diagnosis, a medical diagram I created. Okay. Let's hang on. So I... Oh, dear, tiny feet. Um, this game isn't full screen for me. It won't go full screen for some reason, so that's why it took me so long to read that. Um, I don't think that's how it works. Could be. I think my favorite thing on that chart was the penis bone. Well, this is an unsecured file cabinet full of patient records just out in the open where anyone can look at them. Wait a minute, all these patients have weird German names. And a lot of them died via cow plant and starvation. Cow plants from the Sims. Well, now we know what Schneef does in his free time. Uh, yep, same thing. Cool. We got the plants. Oh, it's fake. Plastic plants don't really liven up the place. I want to have a word with Schneep's interior designer. Maybe it's him, you don't know. So, this is probably a door, right? Uh, there's blood on the floor, and I don't like any of this. Let's just walk in the blood. It's fine. Stretcher looks kind of precarious. What the heck happened? 100% real doctor. Oh, uh, sure. Why are you guys not, like, paying attention to the blood on the floor? No signal, huh? That's supposed to be used during surgery. You really want to have this working. Looks like a drawing of some sort, not a real x-ray. This really doesn't instill me with confidence. Something different? No, I just saw a little thing over there. So can I look at the chair first? You ever wonder if doctors spin around in their chairs when no one's looking? Everyone does that. I know I would. Okay, so what's at the table, then? Well, there's... Can I not do anything in this room, then? I thought for sure I'd be able to do something here with the blood on the frickin' floor. <clears throat> okay, never mind. I figured the surgery room was progression. Oh, wait. This is back at the showers. Goodness. I'm all kinds of wonky. So where am I supposed to find Billy? Do I leave the hospital? Because if so, I really wasted a lot of time. Uh, are these rooms? Yeah, these are rooms. Ooh, cafeteria. It's always the best place to go. <clears throat> this fridge is empty. It just has a giant sticker over the glass part so it looks full. If you're going to pretend you have a full fridge, you might as well fill it with something more interesting than yogurt and milk. Like jellyfish. Guess that would make it more interesting. No wrong. Doors won't open. Actually, I think these doors are just decorative. Yeah, a giant hunk of metal pretending to be a cabinet is exactly what's missing from modern architecture. I completely agree. I've never been a seafood fan, but I don't think I'd eat anything here anyway. Probably for the best. You can already see food here already, so you're getting your fill whether you like it or not. True, but the smell's usually not this bad. Is this no signal again? Is this the menu or the old tabs layout? <laughs> Why not both? It looks like salmon fillets are about to take on the meatloaf if you look at it from this angle. Hoping the salmon wins. I that I gotta go back to that so I can read it. Hoping the salmon wins. If that could score some extra omega-3 vitamins, that'd be pretty sweet. Too late. Looks like the potatoes are winning. Go Ireland! I'm the best, dude. Ew, there are flies buzzing over it. Some of them are walking, though, so it's flies and walks. That's a classic joke. What about the ones on the side that look like they've died? Flies and walks and dies. Starting to sound like the build-up for a very weird riddle. Supposed to be a hint to a riddle I'll get in the future. This is rather frightening looking for an air conditioner. Pretty sure it's tame, it just makes the air cooler. You guys hearing vaporwave? Not unless it's a humidifier, too. Hey. 
Hey, I recognize this. It's the water cooler of doom. It's not plugged in. I guess we won't be meeting our doom today. Why are there glasses of orange goo sitting here? Let's not speculate too much, okay? I feel so bad for going around and seeing everything, like, story-wise, but also I would feel horrible if I skipped any of this, like, from the game developer's point, because I want to read every word you said. If I stood any closer to this, I'm gonna hurt. Well, we're in a hospital, so it's technically not a bad place for this. Yeah, but you forget, Schneep's on duty. Ah, yes, you make an excellent point. A plate of plastic shrimp. I mean, probably safer to eat than real shrimp here. And that's after you get past the plastic smell and lead paint. Alright then. And I know there was another door to the left as well, so either Billy's in here or I should have left the hospital 20 minutes ago. I, he's in here. Okay, so it's a good thing I did all the other rooms just conveniently. Billy! Get me out of here, guys. I can't take this any longer. And that is why you're here, Billy, because you cannot take this any longer. I say I don't want to do the accent, but then I read it like that, and I feel like I have to. I'm confused. Weren't you just showering like the rest of us a few minutes ago? I was, and then all of this happened, and now I'm stuck here. Stuck? He's now one of my patients. You see, under my... Under my care for the acute case of the tension that is hyper. Wait, hypertension? Excuse me, you are not the one with the doctor's license yet, yeah, and neither are you. Let the let Dr. Schneepelstein do the diagnosis, thank you very much. So Billy's here for high blood pressure. If you are doubting me, then I shall show you. It's my leg, what are you even doing? The blood pressure is best taken from the legs? I... no. Jack, can we sue him? I know, because you haven't played Ace Attorney, so you don't have lawyers. Okay, it's not the best, but the calf is a viable spot to take a blood pressure reading. I'll give him that. Since when are you on his side? I'm not, but my parents are doctors, so I guess I confirmed it. Aha! What did I tell you? 190 over 100. Jeez. Billy, is everything alright? You want to talk about it? Uh, it's a little higher than usual. A little? Yeah, it's a lot higher than usual. What is it? 120 over 80 is the normal one? Ah, so he admits it, and that is why you're the admitted patient. Get it? It's a little bit of the doctor humor. <clears throat> Nothing humorous about this, just let me go. A very simple answer to your demands. Nice. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a no, and we're not going to run off into the land of German puns here. Absolutely. <sighs> Look, we just needed to use the shower, Doc. Dr. Schneepelstein, thank you very much. Fine, doctor! <laughs> Now that we've done that, we really need to get going. In case you haven't noticed, Wireland is at stake. You and everyone else here is going to die if we don't head out. And I think you are missing the fact that young Billy is in danger of death himself, yeah? Do you have any idea what kind of- what tension of the hypers does to the human heart? His heart is fine, Schneep. No, his heart is not fine. <sighs> what? I'm confused. Yeah, Jack, my heart isn't feeling good. Can't you people just honestly feckin' stare? <laughs> I wouldn't razz the accent, man. And why not? He is clearly out of his mind. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you also have half the accent, Doctor? Mustn't you be forgetting this, ja? Damn it. <laughs> it is a touche. <laughs> touche. So you admit defeats? This is going nowhere. How about this? If we can prove that Billy's blood pressure is normal, we can take him with us, right? Yeah, and how are you proposing this? Well, do you need any help around here? Do I? Dr. Schneepelstein is, is up to work in my teeny tiny eyeballs. I can use all the help I can get. Perfect, we'll help you out. What? Oh, wonderbar. Wait right here. Uh, Jenny, I don't know about this. And I'm not an expert here, it's not even my... Shh, just play along. Okay, before you begin working, I must interview you. You know how these stupid government regulations are. So why would have a government? Jack. Me first? Oh, have you ever had the pox of chicken? And do you still hate the sound of the heart beating? Uh, what is your blood type? Uh, can you work weekends and holidays? Well, that might be... You're hired! <laughs> I bet that's how Schneep got his license. Okay. Here, you'll need this book. It contains all the smarty things you need to do this job. Good luck. You got Schneep's medical book. What about us? My answers are no, no, be positive, and not with my current class schedule. Do you pass? You would have passed anyway. It's merely political bull shortcake. <laughs> Thanks for that one, Evie. Bull shortcake. I love it. Anyway, off with you. I must prepare for the surgery. What surgery? If this mother flubber is getting out of... Is to be getting the out of here with you all, then I must be operating soon. What? It's the only way. You don't have surgery for blood pressure, I'm pretty sure. 
Guys, please hurry. We kind of know, Billy. All right, here we go. What the heck are we doing? I assume... So now what? I gotta read the book, right? Give us the book, so time to read them. I'm curious to what he'd write about. Diagnosis for Dumbasses, a guide for the not-so-medically-minded. Oh, he wrote the book. Okay. That's the world of medical text for you. Oh, goodness. The four of words. Hello and welcome to my guide for the pills that I give to my patients. Well, this is not a complete list of everything that is under my command and power jurisdiction. Because you all do not have the necessary license to be the surgically inclined people like me, this will be good enough if I, if I should ever thrust this into your hands because I am too busy dealing with these mother patients of mine. So all you have to do is listen to the patient's complaints and give them the pill that best fits their alignment. Oh god. Simple, yeah? Ugh, do I have to remember all this? Oh my god. <laughs> Pill for gutsy things. This pill is for anything that may be creepy crawling around in the gut, or anything that may be poking holes in the gut, like spears. That is not good. But be first to stop the bleeding if you are removing. Pixel count will not result in the addition of any height during surgery. But be first to stop the bleeding if you are removing the spear or other heavy or sharp objects from the patient. Do not make the mistakes I have. Okay. Anyways, this pill is green like acid and contains acid because you do not look so good after you deal with stomach things yourself. Yeah. Give this pill to the patient if they present with stomach ache, problems eliminating, eviscerate, what? Or cannot have the stomach for life as we know it? What? <laughs> Smooth, clean design, line to please the aesthetics. <laughs> this green is not septic and will heal, goes down with water. So, pill is for the stomach, green is for the stomach, pill for smartsy brainy things. And here's the pill I invented for anything that can be cracked out of your skull. But it would be best if you didn't do that because we still need you to be doing my taxes. Oh, wait, do I need, not need to worry myself about that at the present moment? This is about the pill for anything related to the matter that is gray. The pill itself is white because the gray food coloring was too old to use for this, so it is as close to gray matter as we can get. Patients with headaches, dizziness, or delicious delusions of grandeur will need this one to set their heads back in a row. White pill means less time coloring in this book. Can barely see the line. May look like chalk, but it's not containing the chalk. Oh, goodness gracious. How many were there? Like six? Green is for the stomach, white is for the head. Now for the red pill, that will heal you, but sadly not make you any more aware than you are. This pill is for anything that ails the heart, so that's the thing you should be giving to Billy instead of having surgery on him. No matter where it is located, the Board of, the board of Medicine refuses us to publish my paper on the subject, but they will see... Where else is the heart to be located? The patient is complaining that, complaining that their heart is beating too fast, too slow, that they faint like the lady who has seen the geist, or feels like one of those aliens that will be bursting from their chest, give them this pill. Okay, so it was in... It was in a lot of steeple scenes except before, but not as much now. Unless it is actually a chest-bursty alien, in which case you must all scream and and haul everyone's asses out the door because the whole of Wireland is well and truly fucked. Maybe that's the problem. It's not glitches, it's just chest bursty aliens. Bright red like the blood that should probably not be seeing the daylight. This line reminds Dr. Sneakelstein of the Santa Claus belt. Still is not that big, but it is still pretty big. Same size as all the other ones. <clears throat> oh gosh. Have you ever felt like you were walking down a dark hallway and you had something crawling underneath your skin? I felt things were watching me, but not crawling underneath my skin. Have your wounds never healed? This may be the pill for you, then, it will, but it will not do anything to improve how you feel. It will just make your skin better because you feel with your skin, and your skin holds in all feelings. It doesn't actually make you feel better, just better skin. Okay. If this does not make sense, do not worry. You are exactly where I was two, short week, two weeks short of graduation. You should know this. Anyway, if the patient tells you their skin is giving them the problems, like the itches or the scratches or the burns or the biggest of tiny boo-boo gashes, be sure to give them this yellow pill. Possible side effects may include itching, burning, or the skin falling off. But this is reasonable risk, yeah? No, not really. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Is the cell's house of power. Sorry, my bad. Do not be tempted to be cutting the pill in half. Yellow like the piss beer because you are taking the piss out of your feelings. The pill to end all pills. Pill is a miracle pain. Panacea that can cure any illness or malady. Except for gutsy things, brainy things, beatsy things, or fieldsy things. So sorry that I'm only a semi-miracle worker, but we must make all the sacrifices, yeah? 
If the patient tells you anything that is not on the list of the other bills, just give them one and hope that the insurance covers any mishaps. I swore, I could have sworn I renewed that license five years ago. It's not like an every year thing. Anyway, this bill is blue because like in life, blue roses do not really exist and symbolize miracles. Like the blue roses I've given to my wife. Why does she insist that my credentials are fake and Rick is the... I want to know what Rick is. The blue pill is easy to swallow because it is down the mouth. You get it? There's a little doctor humor you see. Very funny. When tears where we draw the line. Ah, blue. Can you see the dye? Yes, I believe it's the dye. Okay, it's only five. So green is the stomach. White is the head. Red is for the heart. Yellow is for the skin. And blue is everything else. So that's it. We just give the patient's pills. This is thankfully easier than I thought it would be. Wait, you signed up for the possibility of this that it could have been gross? I'll admit it was a quick decision, but it turned out for the better. Anyway, first things first, you should probably find those pills. Where do you think he keeps them? Knowing he's a good doctor, he'd probably leave them in the most unsafe place possible. But it wouldn't hurt to ask Burger Pants and see if he knows. To read his medical book, press escape to access this in the inventory. Gotcha. This is definitely going to be longer than an hour, because I just want to hit Billy back. Maybe like an hour and a half or... Probably won't be two hours, maybe an hour and a half. Just I need to see how charged my phone is real quick. My phone's gonna die, so I'm not actually sure how long we can do this. Hey, Burger Pants. Oh, you again. Who? What do I owe this visit? Just wanted to let you know that the three of us are officially in the employ of Sneak on a converted mission to pull Billy out of his clutches. Ah, Billy. Nice kid. Little fussy. Wait, wasn't he with you, though? Yes, but we were separated, and I'm absolutely certain he's going to die if we don't rescue him. Tragic. I don't think I've seen that face. Is that a custom one that you guys did? Oh dear. But if you want some free enthusiasm, listen here. If anybody's got this, you do. Doc's as dumb as a sack of bricks. But no less dangerous than one either. You got this. I knew these. I know these things. But while we're on the subject, hear me out. If you defeat that charlatan, maybe think about getting me out of here. My mind is going absolutely wrong. We are currently experiencing a shortage of blood. These could be my last days. It's death by boredom. Instead of death by glamour? Boredom and homicidal and trap. Wait, for you? You haven't seen me throw that apple. Ugh, we'll do what we can then. Oh, before you go, you wouldn't happen to know where he keeps a stash of pills, right? Which ones? I'm guessing there's more to that than we need to know. There's more than one reason I'm stuck back here. But the actual medicine is in the lab. Middle of, middle of the right side, upper room, real shiny bottle chemist. Got it, thanks. Save our hides, kids. I'm begging you. Okay, so I assume that's the thing at the very, very top that I already went into. So I could have explored all this later, but I'm glad I did it now so I don't forget all the details about every little pill and all that stuff. Is that my 15% warning? Okay, we got that. In a second, I will turn down the brightness on my phone and then it'll last a little longer. Cool beans. So, oh wait, no, that was a shower. Middle, upper, right. What are you talking about? Uh, is it this thing? Because I remember there being pills over here. Is that got a shiny on it or not? Oh yeah, it's shining. It's just kind of hard to see. These must be the pills. How many do you think we need? We we'll grab ten of each. That way we probably won't have to come back for more. You all were not in there to begin with. <gasps> oh my god, the people from other games. You have more stash in here. People from other computers, I mean. Not a bad idea. You got the pills. Oh my god. I can do this. I can remember. I can remember the things. Alright, well, let's just go left to right, I guess. Who are you? Sean, Daniel, hey. I'm sorry, don't know who you are, I guess. Hey, Jack, I can't believe you came back. I wasn't here last time, but I'm here now. Yeah, I guess you weren't. Well, I felt like I was there ages ago. You helping Schneep with something? Yeah, actually, uh, which one of you is sick? Actually, it's Mushroom. I don't know who Mushroom is, but it sounds so pure. She rolled in something earlier and it's irritating her skin, so yellow pill. Can you do something about it? These pills save for animals, I don't want to hurt her. That poor baby in my ear, I just want to hug. I mean, if Shark Chan's here too. Oh my god, Shark Chan is here? We already had suck on my balls and now we have Shark Chan. We've come here before. Mushroom likes eating things she's not supposed to because someone keeps leaving his stuff where she can get to it. That was once and she was fine. Anyway, can you help her out? Sure thing. Let's see a mushroom rolled in something that probably means she needs the yellow skin pill. Well, as whatever she rolled in got on her skin, maybe a pill for feelsy things will help. Okay, I was like, feelsy things? That's a mind thing. No, it's not. All better? Aw. Hey, we did it. 
Thanks for making her feel better. I think we'll stick around for Dr. Snoop to make sure she's good to go. I'm so glad we could help. Alright, cool. Hi, Warstash. <clears throat> Warstash? What are you doing here? You know, it's funny you should say that. I wish I could do Warstash voice. I was minding my own business when someone came and smacked me in the eye with a pickle. Of course that's what happened to you. Well, I meant in Wireland more specifically. Oh, well, that was quite a story. I was here, just visiting Byton, and then the entire barrier between Wireland and the rest of the internet shut down. Yeah, Billy mentioned that. Must be weird to be stuck in here. Something about Mark. I didn't read that. Well, after the pickling, I'm very eager to get back to his computer, so cure me and be done with it. All right, rude. Hmm, for a pickle to the eye, I think we should use... I want to say the white pill because it was his head, but also... Headaches, stomach, face and dizziness, lunch. skin stuff, the heart. Who? I can find out what to give you, so here's a pill to cure everything. That's a rather slipshod way of running a medical institution there, John. How do you feel now? Actually, my eye isn't stinging anymore. You folks did something right after all. Well, that's one patient cured. Come and see me again. Or wait, don't. Okay, well, on to the next patient, I guess. I wonder if you could just give everybody the blue pill. Lee, you're okay. I'm not reading chat, sorry. I don't stream on Twitch to actually be a streamer. You must be Jack. Sorry, I missed you last time you were here. Hey, Lee, you doing okay? Yeah, I think so. One of the guys in the game bit me, though, so don't worry. I won't turn. Being a benefit... Benefit of being bound to the script, so you're in a Walking Dead game? Ooh, that's good. Didn't heal right, so I thought I'd come by here at least to get the teeth marks up. Well, I was also looking for Clementine. Haven't seen her in a couple days. Oh, uh, Clementine. It's not The Last of Us, is it? No, it's definitely not. It's one of the Walking Deads. She can take care of herself, but I'd feel better if she knew she was alright. Of course, totally understandable. We won't waste your time, then. Okay, for teeth marks in the skin, it's another yellow pill. Skin does hold in your feelings. Try this in my head. That kind of doesn't make sense with what I'm going through, but alright. I'll try it. So, do you feel any better? Looks like the teeth marks are clearing up. Thanks, Jack. I appreciate it. Thank goodness. I'll wait here for Snoop's final word just to make sure, but thank you guys so much. Yeah, I guess you can never be too careful. If you see Clementine, tell her I'm looking for her, would you? Of course. I'm recording my face cam for a YouTube video, that's why I don't look at chat. Hello, are you the doctor come to save me? You look real familiar, but I don't know what game you're from. I'm not sure that's the right word to use. I guess we can treat you, though. What seems to be the truck? Oh, sugar plums. I haven't watched that game either. That's such an easily recognizable character for people who have seen it, too. Well, you see, it's the weirdest thing. The other day I was sitting at home, minding my own business, not doing much except for sitting in front of my little inferno and entertainment fireplace. It was so nice, so warm, such a heartwarming scene on a cold winter day. But it may be a little too warm. You know, my heart feels so warm it wants to jump out of my teeny body to go sit in a bucket of cold water. Alright, if she's feeling like her heart is too warm, maybe the red pill will help. <clears throat> I say we get right to the heart of this problem and try the beatsy things pill. It'll work. Ah, I cannot feel my heart anymore. That's good, right? I, oh, there it was. I was so used to the crazy jumpy jumps, I thought I had died for a moment there. You wouldn't still be talking. Sorry about that. So you're feeling good? I feel even better than good. I feel great. Good, even if I sound, even if it sounds like you got that line from somewhere else. Yeah, Tony the Tiger. Be sure to sit a safe distance away from your fireplace from now on, okay? What fireplace? It was kaput. So you can be sure I won't be sitting too close now, because I literally cannot. Well, be safe wherever you're sitting. Not very fun, but okay. Thank you for helping your dear old friend, Sugar Plums. Hi, Shark Chan. Hey, why are you not in the hospital again? I didn't think there was a need to put one on. It was a little too tight in the chest, you know? My girls need to be freer. Oh my gosh. This was an awkward game to watch. I cannot- I don't understand how Jack played this game. I don't understand it at all. Please don't call him nuts. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. If you're a doctor, you can always just ask me to take off my- Can you shut up? <laughs> I don't think that'll be necessary at this point. I've already seen more than I needed to see. Yeah. I, st I don't like reading out her lines. <sighs> Alright, gave you quite an eyeful last time, didn't I, big boy? 
Are you? Yeah, same, same. So what seems to be the problem? Well, I was having this absolutely scrumptious lunch a few hours ago. A little feistier than usual, but they went down nicely once I soaked them in wine. Fewer details the better, Miss, uh, Miss Shark-chan. Oh, well anyways, now my silky smooth tummy is feeling all kinds of sick and I don't know what to do. Can you help me? For an upset stomach, use the green. If you can't stomach ache your tummy ache, you should give this one a try. Cute. Seriously though, how does it make you feel? Oh, so much better. I can't believe it worked so quickly, but my tummy ache is gone for good. Unless you do the same thing again. Oh, how could I ever repay you? I think we're good. Just seeing your bright, shiny face is enough for me, thanks. I could show you more if you like. No, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. I want to leave you. Well, suit yourselves, then. I'll be here until they bring me lunch. So if that takes a while, you know where to find me. Actually, can you do me a favor and get that Billy kid who hangs around to bring me fish out of the mess hall? Maybe that'll cure his... Ichthyophobia. Fear of fish. Oh, is he trying to do that? Well, it's not something he's trying to do. And if nothing else, it'll be entertaining. I love watching people unsuccessfully try to conquer their fears. It's the stuff reality TV is made of. That and it could go viral if the video is funny enough. I guess we'll see then. Meaning, nope, nope, nope. Alright. An hour and six minutes into this. Is that all the patients, or do I need to go somewhere else? Oh, you're back. You work fast. Actually, we're not done yet. Oh, I'm not done yet. Uh, doesn't matter what you're chewing, you're not done with my task. Yeah, we should go. See you soon, Billy. Okay. Uh, check the phone battery. Okay, I'm doing fine on the phone battery now, so I should actually be alright. I didn't realize there were more patients. My bad. So where are they? I got all the ones in there. The people in the other rooms? They're not in there. No one's probably in the cafeteria, I wouldn't think. So no one's in the cafeteria, so is it people up there, I guess? Did I not take care of everyone down there? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, wait. Are you not the second person that was there? The Sean and Daniel? Are you not the... The Daniel of Sean and Daniel or something? someone different? I, I'm not trying to click on the bed. This is the same bed text as before. Uh, nope, can't talk to you, so you were definitely the other one. Oh, we go back to burger fans, apparently. How goes the slaughter? Oh, well, the healing is underway. Yep, we just wanted to get a look at Billy's medical records if we could, so we know what we're dealing with regarding Dr. Schneeplestein's mindset. Patient shards, huh? Alright, let's see. I knew it. He wants to do me in. <laughs> what? What? Why would you say that? The doc has my patient file in here. I mean, this isn't where you go when you need a doctor? You kidding? Since this opened up, everyone comes here. At least Surgeon Simulator in the dust. That was morbid. Oh, that was perfect music timing. But when I last checked the records, mine wasn't this close to the top. How long ago was that? Knowing you, it was probably two minutes. Shocker, but I do work. Not for much longer, it looks like. Well, you don't want to do the work here anyway. Maybe we can help you with whatever's ailing you. What seems to be the problem? Unless you can die from sheer boredom, not sure what else it could be. Bored, huh? Bored as lumber, Jack. Bored as lumber. Son of a... Are you usually this punny? Nah, those are the death throes of my mental state. Oh, mood. We better help you then, and fast. For deadly boredom, we probably just use the blue pill. You need a miracle. Have one. That's definitely a new face. You guys definitely made that one. But it fits in so well with the actual stuff. That was pretty anticlimactic. Kinda like the first time I- the first time you what? See kid, there comes a time in a person's life when they feel the need to- I'm sorry, is this appropriate? Okay, I made it all up. I've been single all my life. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Just be yourself. You don't need a relationship to define who you are. In fact, you're a whole beautiful person on your own. And if you find someone, let them be a compliment to you. Not the crutch that you lean on. You mean like the crutch that your crush leaned on when you broke your their ankle in elementary school? Some pretty sweet advice right there. Needed to hear that. But I still want a girlfriend, and I'm still bored as all hell. <laughs> okay, we'll try something else. For deadly boredom... Is it white? Boredom starts in the brain, so maybe this will help you. Buddy, you're a lifesaver. Did it work? I mean, that's the smartest thing I've heard all day around here. 
But seriously, I think it worked. Oh, okay. I guess that makes a little sense. My brain isn't trying to crawl out of my skull anymore. You guys, the real deal. I mean, Schneep made the pills, so... Shh. You guys take the credit. The less I have to do with that maniac, the better. Glad you're feeling better, then. If you need anything, just let me know. Actually, yes, Billy's patient record. Right, here you go. Got Billy's medical records. Okay, unless I'm mistaken, that should be everybody. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Or at least good enough to please Schneep, right? If he's not satisfied, we'll just give him an exam. Come on, let's go get Billy. Well, obviously, I gotta read his medical record first, though. Items? Still don't have anything in the better items. Oh, dear. William John Fitzpatrick. It is the what the fuck? <laughs> Billy's initials are WTF. Are you kidding me? Age, like nine. Sexy as a child. Weight, like lead. Height, 122 centimeters. Reason for omission. The shower sensors picked up the unusually high pressure of the blood, so it sent him to the exam room by the way that is automatic. Uh, findings. He does indeed have the bloody pressure, the bloody high pressure, and must be having the operation to continue on with friends and Jack. I am currently recording a face cam for a game that I'm playing right now. Most uncooperative and, or remarks, most uncooperative and very much the unpleasant patient. You better shut the hell up, otherwise the good doctor will make him shut up for good by sewing his mouth shut. Examination Stop findings. Announcement. Physical exam. Skin. It is skin. What else? Body. He will always be the child. Head. It is kind of fat. That's rude. Be nice to Billy. Heart. Surprised he has one. Aw, that's mean. Blood pressure. 190 over 100. He is dead. Pulse. Fast when I insult him. Yeah, because he's getting mad at you. Lungs. They're just breathy bags. Respiration rate. Not really, but he'll live. Stomach. It exists. Jack has seen Liver. Living. Haha. <laughs> Spleen. What does this do again? You're a doctor. <laughs> Brain. He should really use it, yeah? Intestines. He already tests my patients, so no more. Wirish exam. Coding. Mostly stable. Boring. Heartbeat. 120. Emergency ping. I'm not surprised. Skeleton. It has not moved? I think that's a good thing, a skeleton. Billy's name is William Chon- William Ton Fitzpatrick. I think that's an intentional type on Dr. Steeplestein's part. His initials are seriously WTF. Considering how close it is to your name, I'm starting to think that maybe his middle name is actually Sean. William Sean Fitzpatrick. That's actually adorable. I guess he looks up to you more than he lets on. Nah, he never admit it, though. That's really adorable. I, I fully... No, I'm not accepting that it's William Sean Fitzpatrick. I am accepting his initials as WTF only. And he's gone. Sneep, we've taken care of the patient, so let us examine Billy and... Oh god, no. He must have taken him in early. It's like we have no choice but to break him out of here by force. Really determined to save Billy, of all people. What can I say? The little dumbass grows on you. Good point. But what are we gonna do? We can't just barge in there. Sneep Sneep's got scalpels. That's a tongue twister in itself. And he's crazy enough to throw them at us, I'm guessing. I think we need to find something in here we can use. We can make Sneep think that Billy's blood pressure has dropped. You want to break his current sphygmometer? Sphygmometer? Something like that? I mean, that's what it's called. Too many letters, and I think he'd notice if it was broken. So what, we just make him take his own pills? Actually, that'd probably work better. I normally wouldn't suggest just handing out strange pills to people, but kind of an emergency. You've been doing it all day. Absolutely agree. Let's not waste any time, then. Oh, so I don't need to find anything in that room. Well, at least I've already gone through here, and I know how to get into the operating room. Because you can't go through that door. You go this way up here. Hi, Billy. Careful of the blood on the floor. Guys! Sneep, we've come to stop you. This is very light music for a dramatic, intense situation. Doctor, and how do you think you shall do that? I know you have performed admirably at my task, even if you needed the help. <laughs> but what does that mean you are not having... But that does not mean you are having the medical knowledge like me. Oh, we have ways. Cliff, what was that thing called again? What, a sphygma monitor? Ach, what is the spell witchcraft? <laughs> out, out, away with you. There shall be none of the spells and dark magics. Look, we're here for Billy and we're not leaving without him, okay? Then you will just have to wait until he has been surgemerated. Would you like the blindfold? Uh, 
blindfold. Wait, what? <laughs> this will be very bloody, guys. I mean, Billy, you're bloody all the time, but, like, same thing as before. You're not in your game, so you could, like, die permanently. Sorry, we should have been more direct from the start. Dr. Sneeplestein, I think something's wrong with one of your patented pills. And then some. Impossible. My pills are all handcrafted with the finest medical engineering and are under the hallmark of their kind. But on the off chance that something went wrong during the process of manufacture, which one? Let me see. I believe it was... I, am I supposed to know the answer to this? I don't think anything went wrong. The miracle pill. The patients are reporting actual miracles. What? The actor doctors will never accept my work after this. Cardboard cannot work to actual mir- It's cardboard? That pill is cardboard? That's- So it's a placebo, is what you're saying. I must disprove this at once. Give it to me. Ooh. Seems a little odd considering you made these pills and claim they work miracles. I know, right? That's self-sabotage right there. Shh. Did your cardboard do anything? Actually, yeah. Consider me surprised, but I am most certainly in the conscious lucid control of my facilities. What the fuck? <laughs> and because of this, I have seen the terrible error of my ways. You have? Almost definitely. The milk goes over the cereal. The milk goes over the cereal. You should never jump into the puddle you cannot see the bottom of. Coke Zero tastes like the Coca-Cola, but without the sugar. Coca-Cola Zero tastes... Uh, wait, what is it again? Same great taste... Same, uh, Coca-Cola Zero now with a hand of out of vanilla. Same taste, zero sugar. Same taste, zero sugar. Same great taste, zero sugar. I right, whatever that is. Hey, that's my line. Thought it sounded familiar. And surgery is not the best way to help your hypertension in the patient who has been programmed to always have high blood pressure. He's, pre he's programmed like that. What? Does that mean I almost forged... Almost forged up this poor, perfectly healthy for him, child. Look at him, he has the anxiety. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it kinda makes sense. Operations cancelled, you're free to go. Oh same, Billy. Oh my goodness, hallelujah. What do you know? The pills kinda lived up to their name, somehow. What did I almost do? I could have killed you, Billy. Thankfully not though. I'm glad you realize that it's better for everything of mine to stay inside. Except when I'm on the job, that is, but that's a different matter entirely. Well, in any case, I shall put you through the discharge paperwork. You're free to leave at any time you may wish to. What about your newfound knowledge? Is this permanent? Unfortunately, I don't believe so. Give it a few hours, and I shall soon be on the web debating the legitimacy of the marshmallows on pizza. <clears throat> Whatever makes you happy, I guess? In the meantime, let's get you out of here, Billy. Freaking finally, I need to get out of this gown. And to get away from this stupid monitor, I think I broke it. Go ahead and change. We'll meet you out there. What did you do? I think this thing's smoking. Billy did say he thought he broke it. Yeah, but that shouldn't even be possible, at least not like this. What can we say? Billy's something else, literally. This is not a place I'd like to find myself. Oh, this would explain why you couldn't look at it all earlier, because you're supposed to look at it now. Under Dr. Sneep's care, or just in general? Both. Uh, I've seen- uh, no, I actually haven't seen this one. Blah, blah. The stretcher looks kind of precarious. That's because I converted it from the board for ironing. It's the recycling that keeps the medical bills cheap. I think I'd rather go through my insurance. I should change it when I get the chance, though, just to make things safer. Before the pills wear off, preferably. No signal. Ah, that's what's next on my list of the things to be doing. And don't be worried, I've been studying the techniques of electronics on the tube of you. Hopefully while the miracle pill is still working. Naturally. <coughs> Looks like a drawing of some sort, not a real x-ray. Yes, this was when I was practicing with my negative spaces. But I think there's enough negativity in the hospital with all the death and dismemberment. This really doesn't instill me with confidence. I just want to talk to you. So what are you doing now? Some kind of schmartzy thing that I can only do now because of the pill you gave me. You should really take those more often, you know. Maybe you can ask me about it later when I have the better answer, yeah? Okay, okay, jeez. Oh, it's the doctor spinning around in chairs thing. I do indeed. And then I feel sick. You spin around in your chairs until you feel sick. No. What? So don't do that. Clearly you have never been in the... <coughs> uh, in the something of the joy and rapture that is the chair of spinning. Oh, I have, my friend, I have. Alright, I'm out. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? That was fast. Trust me, I don't want to spend any longer in here than we need to. Agreed. Hospitals already make me uncomfortable, and I've had to wander all over this one. Oops. Though not having to be a patient made it a little more tolerable. 
Speak for yourself, man. I thought I was. Anyway, we're clean and ready to go, so let's get back out to Wireland. Can't wait to see if anything's new or different. Aside from turmoil and this, I mean. Yeah, let's go. A slime rancher, but you didn't see that. Ah, the whole group's back together. I love how you still made place for Billy to go in the front of the line, even though he's the last one to be added. Can I go talk to Burger Pants again, now that Billy's in line? I see you've reunited with your young friend. Don't forget me when everyone asks how you saved Wireland. Please, I need a better job. Hero Heroics would look really good on my resume. How could I forget you? I don't know, ask my mom. She does it all the time. Is the shark still in here? Yep. Oh, shark and wharf stash are both here. You know, you guys are kind of like a mir little miracle whiz kids yourselves. How'd you like to be guests on my show? That's a terrible idea. You will die. Oh, really? Me on your show? Wait, with or without the chance of imminent death? Well, now, if I were to answer that, it wouldn't be a pulse-pounding interview, would it? Then I respectfully decline. Yeah, we like staying alive longer than 30 seconds. All right, we're going to talk to you now, I guess, even though I don't like talking to you, just because you mentioned Billy and he's here now. You did an absolutely wonderful job earlier, sweetie. Uh, if you want, I can reward you with something for old time's sake. Nope, nope. I'll just shut his eyes and he'll be fine. Besides, I hate lawsuits. What? <laughs> um... You hate them? Is that from experience, or... Sexual harassment is a two-way street, my dorsal fan. Who did they think they were? Um, make this easier for you, then. No more shark boobs, please. Mm, suit yourself, you hunk of prime red. Oh, God. Oh, God. I regret speaking to her a little bit. All right, last thing. I want to go in the kitchen and see the seafood that the shark mentioned. Just because I want to torture Billy. <laughs> Billy, look, it's fish. <laughs> That's repulsive. Oh yeah, Shark Jen wanted you to bring us out to her. Yeah, she said to cure your uh, <clears throat> fear of fish. Uh, actually, I don't think that's a real fish. Yeah, that's definitely one of those novelty wall-mounted fish that sings. You can even see the button. I can't say that without pressing it. What does it sing? You're the absolute pinnacle of maturity. I love it. I am an adult. I am, aren't I? Moving on. Oh, I love it. I didn't even know that was a song. I'm so glad I went back for that. Okay. Out of the building and on we go. To somewhere. Can you walk this way? You can. Oh, dear. That sounds like a plot. So... Obviously, if we're gonna find an ego here, it's gonna be Jack and Boy Man, right? Wow, that is a big city. How did I miss this as both Jack and Sean? To be honest, you barely saw anything. Your house was being taken to and fro without the usual means of transportation, so it figures you'd miss something like this. So this city was there the whole time? Well, yeah, look at all the games on the channel. Where do you think we all live? Our own games? That's what I thought. You don't live in your own games? Some of us do, if there's a place for us to live. But I mean, sh imagine trying to live in Happy Wells. That sucks, wouldn't it? Oh, so you live here too? Yep, I'm right at the top of... You can't see it from here, but yes, we have to go to your apartment. Or house, or whatever it is. Well, let's look at it up close. So where exactly is this person who could help us? Oh, he's in the tallest building, Wireland Technology Institute. Well, let's go find him. Oh, I was hoping I'd get the little Sam loading eye, because I don't know when this saves. Keep out. Well, this place is pretty run down. But yeah, they relegated this building to Happy Wheels, Guts and Glory, Undyne and Papyrus, and Night in the Woods. I need a real number on that, didn't I? Oh, they have the little laugh on the top. That's amazing. They're allowed 150 renovations and repairs per year. Anything else they have to do themselves? They hit that cap a long time ago. I thought they were just decorating for Halloween. Maybe they celebrate Halloween year-round. We don't know. Don't give Tumblr ideas, Jack. <laughs> yeah, if we're gonna meet any egos here, it's gotta be Jack Boy Man, right? Can I go in here? No? Oh, don't go in there. Why? It's like the rowdiest bar in all of Ireland. That's the best place to go, then. This? Looks like a bunch of office buildings. Yeah, they tried to renovate it to keep the crazies out. Didn't work. Now the elevator's full of drunk people. Yeah, let's pass on this one. Oh, come on. That sounds fine. You can't be an Irishman if you don't drink. Two seconds. All right, phone battery's just fine. Oh, uh, not again. What? They're remodeling the lobby. So? So they do this all the time, and always when I'm not home. Oh wait, that's where you live, but I want to see where you live! 
So we can't go in? We can, just means we have to take the green building. Ugh, their doorman's annoying. Oh, and Jack, don't look down. Shrek, I'm looking down. <laughs> hey, Phil, I think I saw you last time I was here. Um, I know you're from, like, the school games, but I don't remember what they're called. Jack, feels like no time has passed, even though you look a lot older. And grayer. Okay, older, yes. Grayer, yeah. Where's the green hair? One day I woke up and my hair had just grown back brown. Imagine that. Okay, sounds fake, but okay. That sounds fake. Listen, I'm not a young whippersnapper like you anymore. I'm almost 30. That's more than halfway to middle age. No, it's just that everyone knows hair comes out of a can. It doesn't just grow out of your head like that. You should really see the company who gave you that hair. If they told you it'd suit you, that'd be false advertising. You're me. Hey. Okay, I assume we need to go into the green building, so I'm gonna check the brown one first. Oh, don't go in there. Those are the really expensive upscale barbers. But yeah, who could afford to live here? I thought you were popular. Right now? Minecraft. Yeah. They become millionaires practically overnight. And I mean, Happy Wells isn't popular anymore. Still get enough residuals to pay the bills, but still. You have to pay bills here? Dude, that sucks. Oh my gosh, yes, Lancer's the doorman here. You have Deltarune. Oh my god, hi. It's Flowey. Howie, I'm Flowey. Flowey the... Oh, you know who I am. You're Jack, right? Do you say that to everyone you see? Force of habit. Oh, I've heard the Flowey pie ate you, but I didn't know it was canon. Speaking of AUs, how do they handle the whole Delta Rune and Undertale thing? Like, are there two Alphases, Toriels, all them? Or just one who has two versions? Two of everyone. Do you have any idea how annoying two Sansas are? Oh my, that sounds like the best thing ever. I'm not apologizing. I like Sans. If we should just let Wireland burn. Shh, shh, calm down, little guy. Oh, come on, isn't there anything redeeming about this place? I'll get the lighter. <laughs> Do what? Pretty sure Wireland can't catch fire. Wireland? No, I want to get a good fire going on the grill. I got a real hankering for crepes. Can you make crepes on a grill? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep, with whipped cream and blueberry compost. Don't you mean combo? Did I stutter? <laughs> it makes great bird flexor. I think we'll pass, thank you. Can we just interact with normal plants? Nope. What's up, Lancer? Halt! State your name, your business, who are you, and who goes there? Aw, oh, I love the little mustache. Lancer? Ha! You must have confused me with that other handsome fellow. My name is Prancer, I'm the doorman of this fine establishment. Your mustache is detaching. Oh, the little squished face. Ah, so it is. You've seen through my brilliant disguise. Yeah. Brilliant, that's the word I was gonna use. You really the doorman here? Uh, yes, of course, in every way. Except legally. But that doesn't matter. I station myself here every day with the Valkonids. Except talk like a pirate day. There's a special day to s that's a special day to spend with friends and people who find you obnoxious. Like Billy? I imagine that's a vast quantity of people. I was gonna say that's a typo, but that's a pun. I like you. <laughs> I have a difference of opinion. He loves me. Anyway, we need to get to the top of the building. The top of the building? Yes. The highest the building will go. Yes. Corresponding with the topmost button. Yes. The button on the tippy top of the elevator. Yes. Ah. We believe in you. Take your determination and be the best darn unhired doorman there ever was. With great pride. I hate that face. Aw, oh, the little slide. Oh, would you just slid up the wall? What the heck? I want to see where Billy lives. It's going to be amazing. Oh, come on. I need the little lugging screen. Oh, good golly. You are... That's interesting. So we are just walking over glass here. That's fine. This is fine. There's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Go away. Is this his? Please tell me it's his. Is this Billy's? Is that actually Billy's or is it someone else's? Because I kind of want to see the other ones, too. Knock, knock, knock on welcome. Looks like no one's home. Welcome, and this one says come on in, so it looks like no one's home. I figured the one that says go away would be Billy's, but still. Oh, this is amazing. I wonder if we're going to find anything about Fran in here. I hope so. You water this thing? You're not so irresponsible after all, I see. Actually, it's plastic. Not even to clean it? Okay, only then do I water it. Hey, Billy, do you have 90 minutes? How do we get here live show tour? How do we get here comedy live show tour? Do you have 90 minutes? Uh, is your memory made of Swiss cheese? I was there. Still. 
This would be your super awesome lamp, right? You give everything nicknames, don't you? It wouldn't be me if I didn't. Aw, what a cute little turtle. Billy has a turtle? Turtle, I spill antsy nearby. I am a turtle! No, that's my turtle. Her name is Bubbles. That's adorable. Aw, it's a cute name. Yeah, unusually cute for you. Look, Fran named her, okay? Boom, I knew it. I freaking knew it. That's also really sweet. Eh. What's this a jar of? It's all shiny. My hopes and dreams. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's a glitter jar. Why do you have a glitter jar? You have a chair just like mine? Aw. What aw? These chairs are comfortable. What, would you prefer that I sit on something really uncomfortable? No, it's just fine. I thought it was a curious coincidence, that's all. Yep. You have a small bed, child. You are a child, but still. Figures you wouldn't make your bed in the morning. Who would? You're just gonna get back in it at night again, or if you're taking a midday nap. Exactly. I don't see why people make their beds. That's my philosophy on beds, too. My mom's, on the other hand, seems to have come into conflict with that. Who won? Take a guess. You watch a lot of TV, Billy? Sometimes. Mostly it's just YouTube videos, though. Any chance they're my videos? Only sometimes. I usually watch Good Mythical Morning, but I tune into your channel when I need to sleep. But how do you? Very well, thanks. <clears throat> nice view. Uh, thanks, it's biting. Well, that's good. Oh, 15% battery on my phone. I'd be shocked if I saw anything else out there. Like Oz? Or Narnia? Or... I don't know what you guys are expecting, okay? It's freaking Wireland. I just meant that you've already seen it, so it shouldn't be surprising. Sorry, Billy, but I mean, sometimes it just takes seeing something from a different angle to give you a new appreciation of it. Okay, first of all, that was deep, really. But second of all, I'm so sorry Wireland's already boring to you. But trust me, it's not boring. It just keeps surprising me, that's all. What's in the drawers? Drawers, I'm guessing. Hey, <laughs> it's shirts, okay? You only have one shirt, Billy. Not gonna go through the door. Oh, guess I gotta go break here to do it. Ooh, a burger. Man, burger sounds so good right now. There's no cheese on it. I argued with Billy about this. Cheese on burgers is good. You dumb dumb. <laughs> That's because cheese on burgers is disgusting. It's like vile, nasty, melted glop that no amount of picking at it will fully remove. You don't like cheeseburgers? They're disgusting. Cheese is fine on its own, but in burgers it's just nasty. That's a lie. Let's not pick on each other about food preference. I'm sure everyone dislikes something most people like. I don't like most seafood, so I understand. That's not helpful. Seafood's gross. I do agree with you on that. Not much of a fan myself. Okay, I could forgive not liking cheese, but not liking cheese and seafood? Now you've crossed the line. Favorite pizza topping is pineapple. You're dead to me. <laughs> You're on thin ice. You're dead to me, Billy. Fruit drinks? What flavors? They look delicious. Blood and pine salt. <laughs> okay, it's actually orange and red Hawaiian punch. I like to mix them, okay? Okay, you really had me concerned there for a second, Billy. This from the man who impaled me on spikes hundreds of times. And when your death isn't my fault, that's all the reason in the world to be worried about you. Hey, bagels. I love bagels. Really, you always struck me as a donut kind of guy. Oh, I am, definitely, but a bagel with some jam or cream cheese is amazing. How come you've got a plate of bagels sitting out anyway? I made them. Baking's kind of fun. Aw, Billy Bates, I didn't know that. Baking? You don't bake bagels. And now you're the expert on bagels? Well, I wouldn't call myself an expert, but I made a few. It's really cool to watch the dough cooking in boiling water. It's impossible. Why? They would have to float. So? So they would just get waterlogged and sink to the bottom. Well, french fries float. That's because they're fried in oil. Oil floats on water. I mean... What was the video that... Oh, it was the Mark Markiplier makes pretzels that I'm thinking of. <clears throat> exactly. So if french fries float in oil and oil floats on water, then french fries are going to float on water. But we're not talking about french fries, we're talking about bread dough. <laughs> I'm just telling you, baking has nothing to do with how they're cooked. They boil the water in a big vat, and water cooks the dough while it floats. That would be poaching. You don't poach dough. They're not called poachels. They're called bagels. They get baked. Get it? If it's not boiled in water, it's just a roll with a hole. Oh my goodness gracious, it's a long argument. That's a big sentence. Oh yeah, we'll think about this. If you drop dough into a lake, even if it's a boiling lake, it's just going to sink to the bottom. Now a dough nut, yes, that would stay buoyant for maybe an hour, but only because it's been fried in oil. Uh... Maybe we should talk about something else. For once, I agree with you. I am loving this conversation, though. Books, huh? What kind of books do you read? Wait, I don't have my bookmark in. Watership Down? Kind of heavy for a kid's book. I sobbed, man. Who gave you those toys? Who said I didn't just throw them away on my own? Wait, you're throwing these away? They're still in good condition. You want them, Cliff? 
Well, if I could take them out of Wireland, I would. Willow would probably love them. Your little sister? Aw. Yep. Well, if you can figure out how to do it, you're more than welcome to them. Wait, so back to the original question. Who gave these to you? No comments. I bet I can guess. Wow, that is a big stack of dishes. Notice they're all clean. I do wash things up, you know, sometimes when Kara doesn't come by. Is there anything you do that she doesn't do? Well, there's matching my socks when the laundry's done. That's something. You were talking about Kara from Detroit become human, right? That's true. It is something. Uh, yeah. I have a kitchen sink. It's like any other sink. It exists. It's a nice sink. Thanks, I guess. It's an electric cooker. As much as I love mine... Look, you have a really weird relationship with your cooker. Mine's a strictly professional one, thank you very much. If you keep being this impersonal with yours, I might accidentally set you on fire one of these days. I'm glad it's not sentient, otherwise I'd have to throw you out for giving it ideas. There's a lot of ice cream in here. I'm a kid, what do you expect? At least you have some vegetables in here, too. Amen to that. I'm super thankful baby carrots are counted among them. So, wait, that's sauerkraut. And? I just, I don't know. It's unusual to see in a kid's stocked fridge. Look, I, did I graciously invite you all into my home so you could judge my taste in food? <laughs> nope. Nope, sorry. Alright, through the door. That's tiny. Hi. It's a bathtub, so... I guess our bathroom has never been more applicable. So, what did we come here for? Just to look around? Not that I mind, because I loved looking around at this place. I especially love learning about the turtle that's named Fran. Or that was named by Fran. So... So no one's home at these two, so can I just go this way? No? So where do I go? I'm trying to go out. So I've been everywhere in there. I didn't see any shiny stuff, but... Could be wrong. So where do I go now? What's up? Want me to try my telephone kick for hours again? I mean telekinetic? Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as a telekin. There's a such thing as a pelican. No, that's just getting ridiculous. Everyone knows there's no such thing as pelicans. They're fictional, like the unicorn, the dragon, the earthworm. Mystical, mythical creatures with magical powers. But there are such things as earthworms. Have you actually seen one with your own two eyes in broad daylight? Yes. All the time. Literally every summer. Oh. I owe someone ten bites. Oh, come on, dude. Look heartbroken. Okay, so I guess now I can do stuff now. So I guess you didn't have to do that, but it's just a cool thing for you to do, and obviously I was gonna do it. Okay, so this is still on the same screen. Hey Jack, I haven't seen you in a long time. You got taller. I have? It must be the hair. It's weird. I thought I had longer hair than this, but I woke up this morning and it looked like it was 2018 again. Well, maybe all the assets were made in 2018 and people are lazy. How dare you? Game developers aren't lazy. They cut corners because they care about the big picture, not the little pictures in the corner of the screen. I love that, because you had something like that in the last one, too. Haven't we had this conversation before? It's more likely than you think. Anyways, it's cool to see him bites him. This place is expanded. I can show you around if you want. Nope, I've got them covered. Well, actually, last time I was here, I downloaded a... I said I had it covered. Alright, well, it looks like my phone's dying, so I probably need to charge it up a little bit. But I will not be quitting the game, just so I don't lose any of the save progress. I'll probably keep on filming a different episode after this, but an hour and 40 minutes is kind of a lot anyway, so... I will just... Turn off the stream, and then I will not exit the game, I'll charge my phone for a bit, and then I will be back recording the game on a different episode. Alright. Bye.